Hey, how's it going on nerds and welcome to the wonderland that is the DD Mark channel. I am DD Mark and today I bring forth a new video. So sit back, relax, kick your feet up and let your worries and anxiety slip away as you listen to this video and lose brain cells. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to jabber on for long because I want this video to be relatively short. So yeah, as I often do with these videos of mine, I, Diddy Mark, dumbass extraordinaire, distinguished clown and mediocre artist recognized a problem. And then I pontificate on how to solve said problem and then I present my findings to you all. So to translate what I just said to English knees, I, in this video, I'm going to be giving advice on something that in all honesty bothers me a lot. Like, it's something I had to really find a way to deal with because, as I'll talk about it later in the video, if you don't have it under control, it can really eat away at you. So yeah, I'm sure you read the title and whatnot, so you know that I know that you know what it is. I'm going to be teaching you, or at least in my opinion, I'm going to be telling you the best way to get over that feeling of hating your art and or not feeling like it's good enough. Like I said, this is something that ate away at me, and I know for a fact I'm not the only one that feels that way. So yeah, enough with this nonsensically long intro. Let's get booty butt deep into the video topic, baby. So yeah, before I talk about how to get over that terrible, no good, very bad feeling of hating your art, and don't worry, don't get your Bob the Builder underwear in a twist, I'll get to it. I think it's important to understand what it means when an artist doesn't like, hates, or simply is very unsatisfied with their art. So let's explore that a little, and even possibly where it comes from, cause spoiler alert, the solution to the problem lies in the origin of said problem. So yeah, what does it mean to hate your art? What does it mean when you're not satisfied with it? Well, it means just that dummy you're unsatisfied with it. But why? Why, Diddy Mark, you may ask? Well, it could be for a myriad of reasons, one of which is sometimes we don't like our work because we feel we're not improving. Sometimes we as artists expect to be at a certain level skill-wise, especially if you've been doing art for quite some time, and after a long period of time, we look at the work we're producing and see it's not much better than how it was a few months back, or even if it were, we expected it'd be so much better than it actually is by now, and think stuff like, like, Man, how have I been drawing for two years and I'm only still this level? I expect it to be so much better by now. See, that can be very unmotivating. Or nowadays, especially in the age of the internet, we see others who do what we do but at a much higher level and maybe they've even been doing it for a shorter period of time than us but they're already better. So it's understandable that most artists in situations like these start to hate their work and it leads said artists into talking themselves down, which only just digs the self-deprecating hole even deeper because the more we tell ourselves we suck or we're not good enough or, or I'm trash, the more subconsciously you start to believe it, which then leads to the next reason why an artist might hate their artwork and it's because sometimes they're just too hard on themselves. I see artists who beat themselves up about mistakes they make and they let it dictate their mental health and how they view their art. Like, so what if you have one bad drawing or two or even three? And plus, I always say mistakes shouldn't be viewed through a negative lens. Mistakes are really just an opportunity to learn and do better next time. We should embrace them, not use it as an excuse to drag ourselves down even further. But I'm getting ahead of myself here a little. I said I'd talk about ways to get over that hate for your work, and we will, but for now, let's keep looking at these possible causes for why artists hate their work. See, we as artists tend to also be too hard on ourselves in the sense that sometimes we set unrealistic expectations for ourselves, and when we don't meet them, we look down on our abilities, and in turn, we grow to have disdain for our work. And that shouldn't be the case. Another reason you may not like your art could simply be because your eyes don't like what your hands can produce and or are capable of. What that means is, it's time for a mother training arc, my guy. I mean, <laughs> I believe it's part of the cycle of being an artist, you know, your eyes gets exposed to art from different sources, whether it's real life, other artists on social media, whatever. So then, after seeing all that good art, your artistic vision improves, and now your eyes don't like your work. So you now need to practice, study, and get better till your eyes get satisfied. I hope that made sense. And the final reason for why you may hate your art is, and I've touched on this earlier in the video already, and it's arguably the most likely situation besides the eyes adjusting one. And it's the fact that you, or I guess we as artists, compare ourselves to other artists. Now, comparing yourself to another artist is not a bad thing. It isn't at all. Matter of fact, I'd argue you should most definitely compare yourself to someone else. It makes a good rivalry, but it's all about how you do it. Comparing yourself to another artist is walking a fine line and striking the right balance. If you stray too much in one direction, you may find yourself putting this other artist on a pedestal, essentially demotivating yourself as you've now put this person and their ability as almost godlike and unattainable, and that can affect your mindset and drive negatively. 
Or you could also stray the other direction where the person you compare yourself with is not the standard of what you think an artist should be, especially maybe if they've been doing art for the same length of time as you have, but they're technically better. And since you feel they're the standard and you're not at that level, that could also drastically affect your mental health and cause you to hate your work. But what you want when comparing yourself to another artist, that balance, that fine line is when the act of comparison doesn't lead to self-deprecation, but instead motivation. When you see someone you think is doing better than you or you want to reach their level and, and having the thoughts of I'm going to get like you someday or I'm going to catch up instead of I'll never be as good as that person or I'm a worse artist and nothing can change that. You feel me? All in all, comparing yourself to someone else could lead you to hating your own art because when you feel you're not as good, you try really hard. But no matter how hard you may try, you may still not be as good as that person, at least in your eyes, and it leads to more self-deprecation. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so now I've talked about the possible four reasons why you may hate your art. One, feeling stuck and feeling like you're not improving. Two, you're too hard on yourself. Three, you actually need to improve to satisfy your air quote artistic vision. And four, you compare yourself to other artists. Moving on from the possible causes or reasons for hating one's own art, it's now time to offer up the solutions and how to get over that. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I hope you were paying attention, the solutions lie in the problems. For when you're feeling stuck or you feel like you're not improving, try getting out of your comfort zone. Don't draw the same thing over and over again, because I see a lot of artists do that. They know how to draw the face or even the nose one way, and they love it so much all their characters have that same no, 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 no. Get out of your comfort zone. And in the same vein, try new things, different art style, coloring. If you draw, try painting. If you paint, try drawing. Go crazy. Go crazy. Ah, go stupid. Ah. Because sometimes when we're stuck on something and we keep doing it because we feel that's what I'm good at. If you don't try new things, you may never discover that there's something out there you may even be better at. For when you're too hard on yourself, understand that every artist works at their own pace. Some are faster than others and can pick up and understand concepts quicker and some are slower at those same things and that's fine. Understand what you're capable of and don't set unrealistic expectations. And as I said earlier also, embrace mistakes too. Don't view them as negative. For when you actually need to improve, <laughs> do just that. Get better until your eyes are satisfied with what your hands can produce. And you do that by analyzing your work and pinpointing in what area you're lacking, whether it's anatomy, form, perspective, whatever. Pinpoint that flaw and work on it. And lastly, when you compare yourself to others, you really need to watch yourself and how you're viewing your artistic rivals and really try to stay on top of where you are in terms of walking that line and striking that balance. Another thing you can do is know your reason for why you do art or why you're creative so you don't compare yourself to people who might be doing something different from you. And yeah, that's it, you sexy senioritas. There you go. How to stop hating your art by me, Diddy Mark. I hope that video was helpful or something to someone out there, or at the very least, I hope it was entertaining. Oh God, I hope this video didn't suck. But yeah, thank you all for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, you just might be built different. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, shout out to my lovely Patreons for supporting the channel and putting clothes on the back of my kitty cat. And if you yourself want to join the Patreon and get a whole lot of cool stuff like my artwork, videos early, my comic projects, and pretty much all the layered files for all my drawings, the link to the Patreon is down below. With that said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and like the video to let me know you enjoyed it. And last but not least, make sure to leave a comment because I read and respond to most comments. Till next time, art nerds, it is I, Didi Mamma Mia Mark. Peace and love, baby.